partners, in today's video, we're going to be learning about maths.3.0a.1.3, uh, which means that we are going to be using multiplication and division within 100, so we'll only go up to 10 times 10 to solve word problems. Um, and we'll be doing that using a variety of strategies. So, let me teach you. This is example one. All right, I'm gonna be using my cubes. And by the way, yes, I am repping cowboys. Let me take a moment just to say my family, we are cowboys fans. I, however, am so busy doing my teacher stuff that I never really get a chance to sit down. But my family is, so this is a shout out to my family and to the cowboys. All right, moving on. So Blake has 18 pennies, ooh, in all. That shows our total. Create three multiplication equations that model three different groups of pennies she could make. So I'm seeing multiplication equations. Again, equations have an equal sign. Expressions do not. They are just what it would be, okay? So I'm gonna, I'll leave that up there, that's fine. So here I've got an equation editor. Basically what that means is I just gotta plug in my answers and the question says create three multiplication equations. So that's what I'm gonna do. So that get me to 18 total. So what times what equals 18? I gotta come up with three. So one, two, three. I'll just do it over here. All right, so I know that 1 times 18 equals 18 because of the identity property of multiplication. So next would be, let's see, how else could you do it? You could do 3 times 6 equals 18. You could also do 9 times 2 equals 18. And we Example 2. This one has two parts that you'll notice. First one is a grid response. That stands for graphic response item display. I think in the past video I totally blanked on what that stood for, but there you go. Graphic response item display. That means we are working um, using graphics to represent the answer. Um, and then part B is an equation editor. Not open response, you're just plugging in your answer. So let's read it. It says, Reed has 12 pencils. And they even give you the pencil. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 pencils. That's a lot of pencils, Reed. Reed has 12 pencils and places four, put places, four pencils in each box. Part A. Model the problem by drawing boxes around the pencil. So 12 pencils, four pencils in each box. So one, two, three, four. There's a box. One, two, three, four. There's a box. And if yours are kind of small, you can always write it on top like this. One, two, three, four. And there's a box. So I have just done this. Model the problem by drawing boxes around the pencils. And part B, how many boxes will he need to hold his pencils? Well, we've got them. We've got one, two, three boxes. So what do I write in here? I can write three or I can write three boxes. I think both answers are coolio. Okay, so example three is another type. This is a multiple choice item that you will see with this benchmark, that you could see with this benchmark. LaToya collected nine trays. The trays each held three piles of snacks. How many snack piles of snacks were there in all? So, she has nine trays. There's a tray. There's a tray. Four, five, six, seven, 
8. LaToya collected 9 trays. The trays each held 3 piles of snacks. So on each tray there were 3 piles. Well this is looking like repeated addition and if I need to figure out how many in all I could do 3 plus 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 3 or I could be a really awesome third grader and know that repeated addition is the same as multiplication and do my groups times three, nine times three, which equals, have I shown you this trick with nines? Let me see, let me get in the mirror. Nines are full of, cry my friend, nine, 18, 27, you got two, space, seven. Google that, nine trick, it's pretty awesome equals 27, so 27 piles in all. Last type of problem for today, example four. We only got four this time because there's only four types of problems you're gonna encounter for this benchmark. It says Tanya has 12 oranges that she places equally into four baskets. Why do we always have oranges and apples and stuff in problems? It's crazy. Probably because we need to be healthier as a nation, huh? All right, random thought, move, sorry. How many oranges did she put into each basket? It says select, I'm not done yet. Select all the ways, all the ways Tanya could have represented this problem. This is common core to the max, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna draw it out first and then make sure that I got this. So 12 oranges, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whoops, eleven, twelve. Twelve oranges that she places equally into four baskets. So she says, this one go here, this one go here, this one go here, do 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 dividing them out. Here, this one can go here. All right, so 12 oranges that she places equally into four baskets. So I've got four baskets, three in each. How many oranges does she put in each basket? Three, but now I gotta figure this out. So part A, oh, this is multi-select. So for this problem, I need to make sure that I select all of the correct answers. If I don't select all of the correct answers, I don't get the point. So I need to read carefully for these. If I have to read carefully for these, that means y'all have to read carefully for these. Okay? All right. So A has a number line starting at 12. And then what she's doing is she's counting back one, two, three, four. That would be one basket. One, two, three, four. That would be another basket. And then one, two, three, whoops. This would not represent it. This is trick. This is a tricky one because it would technically have to go all the way to zero, which it does not. So this would not be a way to represent the problem. If it went all the way here, yes, but it doesn't. Don't get tricked. Okay, so 12, take away four to put in a basket. Take away four, take away four. That works. Wait. My, this would be 12 minus a basket of four, minus a basket of four, minus a basket of four. So that would work. All right, 12 times four equals 48. No, I only have 12 oranges. I'm not multiplying here. I'm dividing them out. Four groups, one, two, three, four of three oranges, one, two, three, and each is 12. Yes, that would be four times three equals 12. That's what I need. 12 oranges and four oranges equals 16. No, it's not what I'm looking for. Not addition, I'm looking for multiplication. Four rows with three oranges in each row. If I had that, three in each, that would be 12 total. That would be a good way to represent this problem. That would be fine. Be four times three, even though I'm dividing here, 
even though I'm dividing there, the inverse would work in this sense because we're still using, it's still the same fact family, so it's okay. <clears throat> 12 minus 4 equals 8 oranges. No, I need to get rid of all the oranges and put them all into baskets to get 0, not with 8 left over. Um, 12 baskets divided, sorry, 12 oranges divided into 4 baskets equals R, well that's using an unknown, using a letter to represent the oranges. So that is okay there. So I've got H, I've got F, I've got D, and I've got B. There's a lot of answers, folks. That's how you solve that one. Whew. All right, guys, before I close out this video, let me leave you with this inspirational thought. This is one that I use all the time. Be somebody who makes everybody feel like a somebody. Be somebody who makes somebody feel important. Be a good listener. Be kind. Be nice. Be gentle. Don't bully. Just be awesome. Bye.